Stan was your typical high school boy that probably lots of guys wanted to be. He was smart, he was a good looking guy, he was athletic, and he also uh, was one of those guys that took time to just actually talk to people. We used to call him Stan the Man. I grew up in Wichita my whole life. From third grade on, I was going here to the schools. And I went to K-State after that, spent five years there, got a master's degree and went on to Kansas City to become a businessman. And then I somehow got a call to be a sports broadcaster in 1987. I remember playing uh, sports with Stan in elementary school, in middle school, then into high school. You know, Stan was always uh, the best athlete on the floor or the field, and it was always good having Stan on your team because you tend to win more when you had Stan on your team. Stan is one of those young gentlemen that probably one of the most confident individuals I ever worked with. And I was fortunate enough to get him first time as a quarterback and the leadership he showed and how he could execute. I was just happy that they didn't move him up to the varsity because he was better than the varsity quarterbacks at the time. Our sophomore year, uh, Stan was the starting quarterback. And, and back then, and even today, it's a little unusual to have a sophomore starting. But he had, in his locker, he had put a note in the locker that said, can this team win with a sophomore quarterback? And each week, when we won, he would mark down, yes. It didn't take long for everyone to realize, yeah, this sophomore should be the starting quarterback. Goddard was, uh a friendly place, a safe place. Um, it was allowed us to be very focused. We weren't distracted. We were able to come here and, and feel a warmth, quiet atmosphere. We could do our work and be kids. But when it was lunchtime, we celebrated lunch. Uh, when it was time for school, we celebrated school. And then when we got to the afternoon and we started doing the sports or other activities, we celebrated. I mean, it was just positive all the time. I became an accountant, but I learned how to do accounting at Goddard, they had a class. It was very progressive to have an accounting class. And I took accounting one and did well, and I said, can I take accounting two? I still had a year of school. And they said, well, we don't have accounting two. I go, can I do an independent study? And they said, well, we'll give it a shot. We think you can do it. So Susie Dixon and I took the class, and then I took the Emporia State Academic Test and got first place in the whole state in, in accounting. So. Uh, you know, right there, they set the tone that what I still do today was started with the classes that we had right there at Goddard. I think Stan has been a great ambassador for, for Goddard, Goddard High School in Goddard, Kansas. You know, through the years, um, multiple times, I tell people I'm from Goddard and they say, oh, you, you know Stan Weber. I said, I, I know Stan Weber, I've played with Stan Weber. Uh, and so, and I'm always proud to say that, you know, yeah, yeah, I know Stan. Somebody brings up K-State, I say, do you know Stan Weber? And they're like, yeah, and I'm like, I knew him. Ha, ha, ha.